Welcome to Purple Bandy News, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made our way through Chargestone Cave, and after defeating Team Plasma, as well as N, made our way here to Mistleton City. In today's episode, we're going to continue through Mistleton City and see what adventures we can get ourselves into. Before we go any further, I'm actually going to show you guys a couple level ups. Roran went up to 33, Floater's at 31, Lumi's still at 20, Darunia's at 34, Shades is at 34, and Zappy went up to level 34 as well. So we have caught up our Zappy. Zappy also learned the move Signal Beam, which is a very, very strong bug type move that's going to come in very handy for us. Now, let's keep on exploring through here and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into... Oh, hey, Rodri, right? Let me see your Pokedex for a moment. What do we have here? So you found 53 Pokemon, eh? Staggering, you've seen a clink. You're becoming quite the trainer. Excuse me, I was a little excited and forgot my manners. My name is Juniper too. Cedric Juniper. Huh, the professor who gave you the Pokedex is my daughter. That girl has told me a lot about you. It really makes my day to meet you. In honor of our meeting, I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. We got our Pokedex upgraded, woo! Some Pokemon can change forms even when it's the same individual. If you've already seen a form, you can check it with this whenever you want. I also added a function to make searching easier. Professor, who's that trainer? Oh, I forgot my introduction. Skyla, this is a friend of my daughter's. Rodri's traveling around Unova to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see. So that means you'll be challenging the gym. Oh boy, I'm really looking forward to it. That's right, Rodri. You should challenge this gym. If nothing else, this gym is really out there. See you, Skyla. If something comes up again, I'll let you know. Professor, my plane is a cargo plane. It carries cargo, not people. And you're talking as if places like Kanto and Sinnoh are right around the corner. Ah, Skyla. If you keep frowning, your face might freeze like that, and that'd be a shame. People and Pokemon, we all have to help each other out. See you later. Jeez, it's hard to believe a happy-go-lucky guy like that could be a world-renowned Pokemon professor. Heads up, Rodri. As a gym leader, I'd be happy to have you challenge the gym, but there's something I need to take care of first. Just now, as I was flying the cargo plane, I saw something on top of the Celestial Tower. I'm sure that it is a sick Pokemon. If it is, I can't just leave it there. I have to look into this right away. I'm leaving for Route 7 Celestial Tower. You can come along if you want. Alright guys, so it looks like we have been given a mission, and it is to make our way through Route 7 towards the Celestial Tower. Okay, we have made it to Route 7. I'm going to go ahead and use a repel, and we will see if we can make it through here. I'm, I'm looking forward to this part. Alright, what does this sign say? Let me see. It says Route 7, so cool. Um, can we go up this? Oh, great! Okay, I haven't seen one of these things in a while, but it looks like we'll be able to go up through this path. Yeah! I'm gonna run through it! I'm all... Oh, wait. Okay, so... Don't! You can fall off. At least there are a couple trainers up here, so that's good. At least we can dodge these. Let me go around. And heck yeah, my friends. We have officially made it to another spot in this route. Turn around, lady! Ha <laughs> ha! You did not see me! You did see me! And look! We got ourselves a PP up. Oh, that's nice. Okay, well. All right, PP ups. We're going to be using that quite soon. Have we made it? What is this it already? Um, we have made it to the Celestial Tower, a place of rest for innocent spirits. Let, let's walk inside and pay our respects to these spirits because it looks like it is a long way up and we're going to have a lot to do here. So we have made it to the Celestial Tower. Let me go ahead and talk to these people. They say that when you ring the bell on top of this tower, it pleases the resting spirits. This is Celestial Tower, where Pokemon are laid to rest. Oh, so this is kind of like a cemetery for Pokemon. So it's a little bit darker than I expected it to be. With the name Celestial Tower, you kind of get the feeling that it's going to be something, something kind of happy. But it's more of a sad place because this is where Pokemon come to rest. It looks like we're actually going to have a couple Pokemon battles. So let's go ahead and do this. So 
So I'm glad I got that prediction right, because it seemed like Shades is going to come in a lot handy on in this tower, uh, because these are psychic type users, it looks like. We have another battle here to the right, I believe, or er, maybe we don't have to battle them? Okay, let me go up here to the right. I really want to get these Pokeballs because there could be some good stuff in it. We found a Hyper Potion. You know what? Those always come in handy for us, especially when we start getting ourselves into some trouble. I believe I saw one more Pokeball over here. Ooh, Repel's effect wore off. I wonder if there are Pokemon here. Just in case, I'm going to keep using Repel's because I'm not sure if there are going to be some popping out at us or not. There is another Pokeball over here, but we might have to battle this lady for it, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so there we go. We obtained TM61 Will-O-Wisp. I do know what Will-O-Wisp does. It is a fire type move that burns your opponent. We might have to teach that to Darunia in the future, but for right now, we're just going to keep on going to the Celestial Tower. Ooh, we have made it to another floor. It looks like there are a lot more trainers here and a lot more items to collect. Whoa, I don't even know which items we should be getting. This is this is getting pretty crazy, but I'm going to go ahead and switch and put Shades just in front because from what I've been noticing, Roran hasn't been too effective on the Pokemon in this tower, so I'm going to try my best to mix it up with our other Pokemon to see if we can get a type advantage. So here we go. It looks like we have ourselves another battle. Or the guy turned around. Great! Okay, by all means, turn around all you want. Uh, there's a lady over there. If I can get this person to turn around one more time, that'd be pretty great. Hey, look! Look! There's a ghost over there. I see a ghost if you turn around. Okay, this person isn't gonna turn around, so let's just go ahead and battle them very quickly. Oh my gosh! It turned around again! Are you kidding me right now? What is this person doing to me? I do want to get this Pokeball though, so let me go up here. We obtained a spell tag, and... We have a battle. Whoa, guys, and with the defeat of that psychic, Floater is evolving! Okay, so great! Uh, glad Floater is evolving! This will be Floater's final evolution, and here it comes. On the way to the top of the Celestial Tower, our Floater must have gotten inspired by just all this, you know, all these crazy energies around. And Floater has evolved into Unfazunt! So congratulations to us! Woo! Uh, welcome, Unfazunt! Glad you, glad you have evolved, Floater! That's absolutely incredible! And I couldn't be any happier to have a fully evolved Pokemon on our team now! That is our first team member, and it is Floater who has evolved! So that's really, really great! Whoa! Okay, that is awesome! Um, I'm, I'm really excited now! Like, it's always great to have a fully evolved Pokemon around with us! And I'm just really happy that it was our Floater who's been there with us from the start! Okay, it looks like we have a nurse looking lady here to battle! So let's go ahead and put Floater in front! And see if we can do some magic, because it'll be fun to use our Pokemon who just evolved! Alright, let's go ahead and battle! Not battle her, talk to her! You need a nurse's help? Oh, I think now we're gonna have to battle her. Here we go. Great job there from Zappy. Okay then, time to give your Pokemon some energy. So, our Pokemon are being healed. That's great. It's nice to bump into a nurse once in a while then. I think that might be the first nurse we have bumped into. And now, have we made it to the top of Celestial Tower? It looks like we still have a little bit ways to go. There's a Pokeball over here that I want to get to. I can't see if we have a battle. Uh, don't think we do, but there we go. We obtained TM65 Shadow Claw. 
Wow, that's a really great TM to find up here. Didn't think we would find something like that here, but you know what? That's awesome. All right, I cannot move through here. So we're probably going to have to battle that person up there. So once again, I am going to put Shades up in front, who is level 35. That That's pretty dang great, Shades. Keep it up. I'm glad we trained our Pokemon. It's going to make things a lot better for us. We've been kind of having a difficult time with some of the battles. Uh, so here we go. Let's go ahead and battle this person too. And they turned around on me. We found a revive. I guess these people, when I tell them we're going to battle them... Ah! Here we go. There we go. Now... Maybe we can make our way around here. Oh, look at me. Awesome. And now we have to go all the way back around. And this time, maybe we'll make it to the top. I'm glad I have some escape ropes on me. Because this is a huge, huge staircase to be climbing. All right, let's keep on going. You know, it's good to be collecting items, though. Because once in a while, I tend to forget them. And it looks like we have made it to the top, guys. Now, look at this view. This is absolutely beautiful from up here after all the battles we went through. Now, Skyla is up ahead. So let's just go ahead and talk to her. Oh, you came. Thank you. I was right. What I saw was a herd Pokemon. Don't worry, though. It's fine now. I gave it a max revive. Then it felt better and flew away. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't I have a great eyesight? No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eyes can see them. Oh, that's right! Since you've come this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower's bell is for soothing the spirits of Pokémon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. It is our moment to ring the bell atop of the Celestial Tower. So let's go ahead and ring it and see what sounds come out. The sound of the bell reverberates through the area. What a pretty sound! Rodri, you are a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skyla, the leader of Mistleton's Pokemon Gym. I use flying type Pokemon. When you're ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. Ooh, a big welcome indeed! On Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. If you're like me and you don't have a Valentine's, consider me mine, and I'll consider you yours. Consider you yours, I'll consider you mine. That's, yes, you guys know what I'm getting at. Let's see if we can use our dig and get out of here now. I'm pretty sure that we might be able to. I'm not sure, we can't use that here. But now that we've made it to the top, I'm pretty sure I have an escape rope in here somewhere, and let's hope that it'll take us out of this place. Great, it won't. So we are gonna have to make all our way back down through this tower. You know what the good thing is? We defeated pretty much all the trainers here now, so it won't be difficult at all for us to get out. Wait, did, did it just take us straight out? Um, I think it did. I'm not sure. Uh, wait, did it just take it? No, okay, okay, I was, I was mind fudged there for a second. For a second I was like, did it just teleport us out all the way to the entrance? Oh, this is where it's going to come in troublesome uh, because I'm pretty sure I didn't defeat like half of these up here. Fantastic. You turn around. If I can get you to turn around, I can get out of here without any freaking trouble. Ooh, look, I can make it through here. Awesome. Didn't have to battle any of you guys on like the third floor. I did battle everybody else though. So let's go down here. Come on, come on, come on. All right, did I, whew, which one of you did I battle? I can't even remember right now. Don't even remember which one of you guys I battled. Hopefully it wasn't you. Ah, uh, you look kind of cute, but I don't know if I battled you either. Oh gosh, I probably battled this one. Yes, I did. Oh, look at me figuring these things out. All right, let me run down this one. I guess I have to go out all the way through this. Hey, but at least I have figured it out and it looks like we have made it out of the Celestial Tower, my friends. Now, maybe we'll be able to use, oh, you know what? There's one thing we haven't used yet, and it's fly! We can fly to Mistralton City now! And that's a really cool map layout of it. And let's go ahead and fly on our floater back to Mistralton City and get prepared 
for the gym, my friends. So in the next episode, we are going to be making our way around here somewhere, wherever Skyla's gym is, and uh, hopefully entering the gym, which might be on this uh, big pathy roadway. Who knows? I'm going to have to find out where it is. And if you guys have any tips on the upcoming gym, let me know. It's going to be quite challenging, but I believe Zappy will be able to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.